So Valve's worst known secret is out. Deadlock is on a store page, allowing everyone to have access to see the game, stream the game, play the game, and talk about the game publicly. And I want to talk about it because a lot of people seem to want to compare it to Overwatch, which is rightly so. They both have heroes, they both shoot guns, so they must be hero shooters together, right? No. This game is very much more inclined of a different breed. It is way closer to a MOBA than it is to a hero shooter. And you may be confused, what the hell does that even mean? Well, MOBAs, typically known as Dota, League of Legends, Smite, those sort of games have a very distinct playstyle where you have a Ancient on either side that you have to destroy. And to destroy it, you have to destroy towers in front of them. This is the core premise of a MOBA. Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. You then choose heroes or champions or Lords of the Rift to fight each other in an epic battle using various skills, items, and levels and tactics in order to defeat the enemy and it's very much the same here of deadlock however where deadlock succeeds is some way very interesting that only MOBA players will truly understand you see a typical MOBA has the carry the support the tank the DPS all these intrinsic roles and each of them have to be balanced delicately with how much support do we give to the carry do we give them more money do we give supports less money do we put wards around the place do we have dedicated roles for doing this and that Deadlock removes all these roles. Every player is a core carry player. Every player is a core carry support. There is no differential between these characters. Everyone needs to have a high amount of gold, whereas in Deadlock it's called Souls, because this Souls is your level and your ability to buy items. Your soul worth is your total net worth, and that entails your level for your character whereas your souls as in money can be changed a little bit up and down as you die and get kills so you want to keep your soul level high so your level is high and as you level up you do more damage you take more hp more resistance all these things are great so that means even the support characters in deadlock can be core characters and this fundamentally fixes problems with the MOBA franchise, problems with the Overwatch franchise, where you feel like you're stuck in a role, where you're stuck where you have to be the healer, where you're stuck where you have to be the support, where you're stuck where you have to be the tank with the shield like Reinhardt standing in front of a door and being incredibly bored when you cannot shine in your role. I found this a lot when I went back to playing Dota 2. I was dreadfully hating playing supports because I didn't have the freedom to buy items that I would like to buy in order to influence the battle of the game. And if I was able to have that freedom, it would completely ruin the balance of the game. But in Deadlock, because they went from the very start of design to having everyone being a core, integral player able to play the game how they want to, it has made it a fantastic game. Even in Overwatch, where you have those split queues between I want to be the tank, but my queue is 20 minutes. Uh, it sucks, but I only want to play the tank. I want to be the DPS, but my queue is 10 minutes. It sucks, but I want to be the DPS. And then you have all the support players like, I don't want to be a support, but the queue time's like 10 seconds. So I guess I'm playing support if I want to play a game quickly. And this is just terrible because you're forcing people to make choices that they don't want to do. Play roles they don't want to play. No one wants to be the bitch healer. In Deadlock, you don't have to be the bitch healer. Every character can carry. Every character is useful. Every character is fundamentally good. It's fantastic. What I also like is when you go into your lanes, you usually have a dual lane or a single lane. The single lane isn't prioritized over the dual lanes like it is in Dota and League of Legends where you have one player going mid, one player going mid, and they tend to level up slightly faster than the side lanes, allowing them to have a greater influence over the arena, or forcing someone to be a jungle only character like it is in League of Legends. These things suck, and Deadlock gets rid of all of them and makes every fight enhanced, engaging, and great. And most importantly, there's no guy holding up a shield saying, Haha, you can't shoot me, I got a shield! It's stupid in Overwatch. Deadlock fixes this. It is, quite frankly, way better than anyone expects or realized. Anyway, 
this has been my ramble about Deadlock and why it's fantastic. <laughs> I don't know if this game is going to have any uh, longevity in the scene. There's been many Valve games in the past that have quickly died off and gone to obscurity like Artifact and Underlords and rightly so, they both had fundamental flaws in their design that just couldn't quite maintain the luster of Valve's standard of approval and they were, unlike other studios, quickly brought to a timely end before they got too long in the tooth and had too many people going, Oh man, I can't believe you're shutting down the service, man. I mean, come on. Let's be real here. They were right to shut down Artifact. They were right to shut down development on Underlords. Underlords had an easy layup too, but they just couldn't change the base premise enough to be better than Dota or the chess. To be equal to Hearthstone Battlegrounds, to be as refined as Super Auto Pets, or even TFT. Nothing wrong with it, it's just they weren't willing to put the design and principles of Valve first before the game's release, which is quality and perfection. Like the Half-Life games, TF2, CSGO, CS2, all of Valve's standards of approval including Left 4 Dead. I really think Deadlock has a promising future. I don't know if it's going to last, but right now it is the most fun MOBA you can play in existence. Everyone gets to enjoy it. Everyone gets to play it. The only major negative I have to it is people that can't aim, you know? If you're struggling to get basic shots and CS, that's going to become a problem in Deadlock and you're going to be a little bit upset with it and that'll be an instant turn off. Then it's the people that view this as just, Oh, it's another Overwatch clone, it's Concord all over again. Which is understandable. We've had lots of battle arena hero shooters, but this isn't revolving around a single capture point, a single cut you got to push, forcing everyone to be in the same spot. This has multiple lanes allowing you to have tactics. Do you separate a few people off from your group to push the side lanes and then come back to the group and have a proper fight at your base? Or do you just go all in and push through one lane, hope to like overpower the other team and win? And there's a lot of strategy, especially in the end to end game on how you approach battle. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and subscribe.